Hi, my name is Roger. How are you doing? Do you find yourself sometimes when you're going to record something and you can't bother? I know I do. Especially for things like tambourine, shakers or hand clap. And that is where this plugin is so awesome. Not only is it convenient, it also sounds excellent. And you can be the winner of one of these plugins. So I have a competition going on where you can win this plugin. I will tell you more about that later. But first, let's go through this plugin, shall we? When you open the Handclap Studio, it looks like this. And remember that the pattern sequencer is on by default. So if you press play, you get a two and four clap. You can, of course, program your own sequences just by clicking in the pattern sequencer. And if you press Alt on the Mac, you get a softer clap. And if you press Control, the clap is harder. Press play. Like that. Let's turn it off for now. On the left side of the Hand Club Studio, we got the mic choice and things like that. So we got condenser and a ribbon. It sounds like this, the condenser and the ribbon. Not that big of a difference, but the ribbon is a little bit rounder. We can choose how much room we want. So this is no room at all. And a lot of room. Somewhere in the middle is usually fine. And then an echo, which I don't use that much. You can change, you can have the echo level. It's like a reverb. And uh, echo decay. So that's a short, like nearly gated verb and a long. Like that. Let's turn that off. On the right side of the plugin, we got an output volume control and a pan knob. We also got a tilt EQ, which makes the sound darker if you turn it left. And brighter if you turn it to the right. And we got a presence control, which is sort of a treble boost or high mid boost. A compressor that's also on by default, but you barely notice it until you crank it. Then it's really obvious and pretty cool. In the middle is where all the fun things happen. So we got four different styles of claps. We got the basic, bright, soft, and snaps. We got the strength control, uh, which you can also use the velocity on a keyboard. And we got a pitch. You can pitch the claps down or up. Or up like that we got a looseness control how much flaming you want from your claps so if it's really tight or if it's really loose you can also hear that the claps are randomized so if you press the keyboard multiple times the claps are a little bit different every time which is pretty cool let's leave the looseness at around 36 percent we got a spread control, how much of the stereo image we want. This is like normal stereo. We can go to mono. But the room is still in stereo, so if we go even lower, even the room is in mono. Or we can just spread them totally out on the sides, like that. Let's leave it stereo. So how many people do you want to clap on your song? We can have from one to eight. We can have even more, but I will show you that later. So that's what you can do with this plugin, and its simplicity and quality is its biggest benefits. I have made a short groove with only the Hand Clap Studio, which sounds like this. A 
a quick walkthrough on that. We got a low narrow, I call it low narrow, it's the hand clap studio, three claps, not much looseness, and I pitched it down. Some EQ compression, and I used the Logic sub bass for a little bit of low end, and it sounds like this. Like snare, I call the next. Uh, it's uh, three claps, not much looseness. The pitch is all the way up, and it's not a big stereo image on it. So, and a little bit of reverb. Like that. So huge. What can that be? So it's more reverb, more claps, eight in this case. An offbeat thing that sounds like this. Snap left and right, which I put a little bit of a delay on. Sounds like this. Flam up and flam up to a snare hit. Like that. And a flam down which is this. I'm not sure you can hear this, but both of them I automated, the pitch and the spread in the plugin itself. And the groove again, all together, sounds like this. What if you want a huge clap, a big crowd that's clapping? Well, it's easy. I put four instances of the hand clap studio together, but with different settings. All have eight claps, but different spread, looseness, and pitch. One of the channels also have a delay on it. I put them through a bus with a reverb. This one is Ocean Waste Studios. It simulates the Ocean Waste room, which is pretty cool. And I put an EQ on it, which I don't EQ much. I took away some mids, but I use this stereo width control to make it bigger. You can make like a crowd clap just by combining a few plugins with different settings. That's a lot of people clapping. Let's open a song where I've used the hand clap studio a little bit, and I will show you how I use it. So this is the Roger That song of 2021, the song that you can record and win a hand clap studio plugin. It sounds like this. The only thing I know I put three instances of Hand Clap Studio on this song. The first one, the most obvious one, is I want to enhance the snare on the chorus. So that Hand Clap Studio sounds like this. With six claps, normal stereo, normal looseness, nothing special with a little bit of reverb on it. If we take that away, in context, it sounds like this. And with the hand clap studio. Do you hear that the snare sort of gets wider and fatter? You don't really hear the claps, it just enhances the snare. And that was my point with this. The second is more of an effect thing. A little bit more looseness and a little bit more stereo, five claps. 
and a lot of bright reverb. It sounds like this. In context, it's like this. No, is that I don't know. It's more like a subtle effect that just enhances a couple of snare hits. And then I made a fill with the hand clap studio, which is this. Like that. I automated some volume and also the pitch and the spread of the hand clap studio. I put it through an overdrive, a phaser, and a little bit of reverb. This is very subtle. If you're listening on headphones, maybe you can hear it in the context. So that's a few ways you can use the Handclap Studio. I use this plugin all the time. I enhance the snares with it. I do it in a bridge on a song or something. It's so convenient and so simple. I don't have to do 10 overdubs with clapping on a song and then edit them. And on the next song, which is in another tempo, I have to do 10 more. I just pull this out and it saves me a lot of time. Time I can use more creative. You can be the winner of this plugin by entering the Roger That Song competition. All the information you need will be linked down below and you have until February 15 to send in your contribution. I will announce the winners February 22nd. I want to give a shout out and thank you to Robotic Beam that helped me with the prizes for this competition. I appreciate that. Thank you for watching and I hope you will participate in the competition. The Swedish word of today. When you're listening to music, you often listen through speakers and speakers in Swedish is högtalare. Högtalare. And Roger that.